Now I'm going to build out one of those CIS auto refill systems, our black only system, the do it yourself kit that you can get on our website. Well, we have this 1010 printer that we got. It was about $34. I'm going to open it up, take it out. It's going to take the number 61 color and black cartridge. We uh, make a kit for the color, a refill kit for the color, which is simple, but we make that CIS auto refill system in black only because a lot more people print in black. But a $34 printer, you can turn it into a an awesome little printer. Well, I just finished unboxing this um, 1010 printer, this uh, desk jet. I put an old uh, color cartridge. don't even have a black cartridge. still have the original cartridges. I haven't even built it out. You can see the color. You can run these printers with both cartridges or just one. I'm going to leave that color in. Then I'm going to take the um, system I built for the MV5530 I'm just going to that black cartridge you're going to put in. You're not going to get an ink level uh, when it goes down. You're just not. But it doesn't matter because you have the bottle of ink sitting next to it. So let me get it and I'll bring it over and now we'll see how to install it on this. Now this is an auto refill system that I built for the Envy. I'm going to put it in this uh, new printer here. Now on, on some of the printers you have to, you know, make it a little bit, fill a little bit at the top. On this one, you're just going to have to put it in and lock it up in there and lock it right in because I think there'll be enough room where that it's not going to interfere with the little elbow. Nope, doesn't interfere with the elbow. So now we can do hose travel. But before I can do that, I'll reach around and unplug it so I can move it by hand. See, that allows me to move that by hand. And then we'll set up the hose travel here. And we've got our CAS auto refill system ready to go. Now this has been used in another printer. This is a $34 printer. Let's see what happens. Now again, you're not going to get instructions with this product. You're, you're, we'll give you instructions how to build it out. But it's up to you to figure a way where to put the hose bracket, how to make it work. Um, that's up to you. But on this one here, I'm going to give a little advice because I'm going to Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little clip probably right up here to, hose, to hold that hose and then run it out the side. I'm going to try the hose clip right here so when I close it, I'll bring it out right here. You can come up with your own uh, idea, but I'm going to try that. So then I just bring it out the side and close it, and then you'll get another hose bracket. You can put the hose on the side here. Now we'll go turn it on and see. So I'm going to get one more hose bracket. I'm just going to add it on the side. Now there, I got the other hose bracket. I'm going to open up that center plug there. That has to be open because air has to go in. Now remember, there's no instructions on how to install because we don't own all these printers. So you have to come up with your own way to install it. And I just did this one out of the box. Brand new printer. Didn't even use the original cartridges. So now I'll plug it in and turn it on. But I did hose travel back and forth. I let it go back and forth. And I could see it was... Now I want, might want to move the hose a little bit this way, a little that way. That's up to you. That's up to you. I just made sure it wasn't pinching when it came out. And then the way I set our double loop in that hose clip like that, that's important. There you go. Now this came out of a, an MV5530, so I don't know what I'm going to get. I go, now this is very important. One thing you want to make sure, you disable HP cartridge protection. If you don't, you'll never be able to use those cartridges over again. So you want to make sure you do that. Now this is on a 1010 or desk jet. I'm sure it's uh, for the MV and the office jet too. I put save settings. 
and then we'll close out once it's done. That will pop up, used or counterfeit cartridge detected. If you have installed the indicated cartridge, black, and you believe it contains a, the best thing here is click yes. Don't click no, otherwise it will shut you down from using that cartridge. And again it asks you continue. If you don't follow along correctly, it won't work. Okay. It just makes you do things like that. Now it's going to print the alignment page. So you got to watch the messages that you're going to get. This was an old cartridge I put in a brand new printer. Now this is t the type of instructions we're not going to supply. You have to be able to read you have to be able to understand what, what you have to do. Now sometimes on these printers, because there's no LED, you'll see a blink of light. Just touch it. It'll, it'll reset it. You can hear it go back and forth. Like I said, you're going to do hose travel here. Yeah, even if you had to cut the printer, they're so cheap it doesn't matter. The light's gone out. Now I'll go over and start to print some pages out. Now I just put this in from another printer. It's not printing black very well at all, but it's been sitting in that printer for probably a month. So I'm going to open this up, let it come over, and I'm going to take out the black cartridge. I'm going to clean it, and then I'm going to use the priming tool, snap-on prime tool, to prime up that cartridge. I'll take it off here, take it out, and then I'll snap it in the tool, That'll prime it up, and then I'll clean it with the head cleaner. Now I've got the air plug open. It's in the snapping back. I'm going to pull down and draw up at least two milliliters of ink. Okay, then I'll take it off, clean it. I'll do a cleaning, and then let's see what kind of black I get out of it. Okay, I cleaned it. I'm going to put it back in. Put the hose back in there again. I'm using this spot for the hose. You might find a, a better one and I let it come out here. I want to make sure you have enough but not too much hose. And you can close that up. Now I'm going to go and print that page out again after I do a cleaning. I'll do that through the software. Now from the icon I opened it up. Uh, maintaining your printer, I'm going to click on that going to open it up and I'm going to do a print head clean. Clean ink cartridges. Well, it'll clean both of them. So let's, that which waste a lot of ink. Ink cartridge stalled. So that means I didn't have the hose travel set up correctly. So I'm going to go back to the printer and fix that problem. Now my light was blinking after I didn't have enough hose travel, so after I fix it, I just touch it to shut off that light. That's a warning light. I'm still in a cleaning right now, and then I'm going to print out a page. There again, if I was using a brand new cartridge, even though you, the ink level will go down and it will say it's empty, it still can print. But this is an older cartridge I took off another printer. I'm going to go over and print out a test page and see how the black comes out. It gives up. you different levels of uh, print head cleaning. First level, second. I just did one. Now, if you put something over here in this trigger right here, you wouldn't even need that door on. Here it comes. Now it's printing black. I've got all my colors. Okay, now let's go set it to print out five documents in all black. Now it's coming out. See, in the kit, you're going to get that snap and back tool. You're going to get all you need to to build out this continuous sync system 
with our kit, you're going to get all the tools and all the parts you need to build out our auto refill system for the 61 cartridge. Now you can keep printing and printing. All you got to do is add ink to the bottom. That's all you have to do. That's a $34 printer. Another great product from inkproducts.com. And the best thing is that you can put it on the office jet, the MV, the desk jet. So you can literally take this system and go from printer to printer if you've got a new printer, as long as it, you're using a 61 black cartridge. 